Let me be perfectly clear. I am the same person. I'm just as hyped, and I freak out just as much. Old Ninja, the only difference is, is if I died, I would say, Son of a... Mother! That is it. That's the only difference. I'm the same person. I just don't swear. All right? So, so, and guess what? When I freaked out one time, I got two people who freaked out on Reddit and made posts and roasted me. Worst. There were so many times last year where I could have easily made a video about Ninja, but if you look back throughout that entire year, of all the mess ups and all the L's that Ninja took, I didn't make not one single video on him. And that's not because I'm some huge Super Ninja fan who didn't want to say anything bad about him. He just so happens to have amazing timing. I've either been distracted, busy, focused on something else, not able to record. Whenever he did anything, I was just not able to record for some reason. I just don't like the fact that we made it all the way to this year without me having a single Ninja video. The closest I've come to having one is having him in my intro, which he's been a part of for a very long time now. But I just don't think it's right for me to have him in there without actually having the video. So what we're going to do is look back at the entire year for Ninja and look at every L that he took, which is plenty, plenty of L's. And we're just going to wrap it all up into one nice video. Now, if you're a Ninja fan, if you're one of the kids who loves him and just you have the headband, you have the merchandise, you say it goofy ass, we got chugs, we got jugs shit that he says. We got chugs! Baby, we got chugs. Don't worry, I'm going to make sure I don't swear too much in this video. I know how much you and him hate swearing, so I'll be sure to bleep it out. I don't know what sound I'm going to use yet, but I want to bleep out anytime I say any cussing words such as bang bang. That way, none of you feel uncomfortable, and you can sit through this whole thing and realize the people that you worship are trash, and Ninja will be one of them. I used to think that Ninja was fine, but he's not. And you're going to figure it out the same way I did by the end of this video, or I failed. I think everything in the main part of the video should be self-explanatory, so say hello hello to Luigi and say hello to the intro. Do I have everybody's attention now? Call us Twitch Good morning. Oh, hey, oh, 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 you hold this hell for that bum ass. You stupid. The king is back. King is Okay. Can you copy strike him We're gonna start with none other than the beginning of the year. Now, some of this might be out of order. I'm going specifically off memory, so I might be wrong in the timeline, but just know that all these things definitely happen. We're gonna start with him saying the N-word. Now, every time I talk about people saying the N-word or race, I'm gonna tell you now, I don't think Ninja is racist. I don't think the moment that this happened is racist. I just thought it was really idiotic because I'll, I'll explain after I show the clip. Here's Ninja saying the N word. This is where I got my intro from. So. And going and going like the Energizer. Yeah, I'm supplying the wood like Elijah. These are gonna smoke in the Indica, Monica, Monica, part of Elijah. They say, they say, life is a bitch and that is the case and I finish the prize ya. Woo! Now, I know some of you are ready to go to bat and go to war for him. Like, oh, well, if the song said it, he can. The song never says the n-word that's the most idiotic part about the entire thing ninja didn't know the words so he just repeatedly said the n-word for no apparent reason if you listen to him he says it over and over again because he starts stumbling but if you know the actual lyrics to the song by logic the lyrics go in the cut smoking on indica Bitch, I've been going and going like the energizer yeah i'm supplying the wood like elijah indica smoking on indica might fuck around and come and elijah but since Ninja didn't know the words to the song he was so excited to rap about, he just started remixing the freestyling, which he should never, ever do. Just because you play with Drake one time does not make you a rapper, please. Stay far, far, far away from rhyming words and trying to be creative with freestyles unless you hire the same ghostwriter he had. Let's move on to the next topic. I don't want to drag that part on. So let's talk about the whole thing with Myth. If you don't remember, this was back when Ninja first started introducing his PG form to his stream. I say to be quite frank, it's it's why I'm actually not really playing with myth that much. Like, <clears throat> see, that could cause some confusion. Like, myth, myth just swears a lot, man, and I'm like a lot, a lot. Like, he says the F word like five times that sentence. So like, sometimes. So I'm just trying to, <laughs> just trying to, you know, not, you know, you know, like I don't want, I, I don't want. Parents not being okay with you know, their kids watching my stream because I'm playing duos with somebody. He decided to say he didn't like playing with Myth because Myth had a foul potty mouth. And it was bad for his brand and his image because Ninja is so, so squeaky clean and he's never, ever said a foul word ever before, right? Oh, wow. 
you first. Wow! The f oh. you say to me, you little sing bang? <laughs> <laughs> how are you? How are you not in wow. school? You kiss your mother with that mouth? It's called you. Ki it's called you kiss your mother with that yeah, yeah. mouth. Huh? Oh my huh? God, why are you so angry? <laughs> because the fucking youth of society. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up when I'm talking to you. You shut your mouth. Yo, can someone clip that? Sh I want to get that guy banned. It'd be like a 48 hour suspension, bro. That was Ninja before the fame, as we like to call it. That's not the friendly neighborhood ninja you know. That's the real ninja, the one he keeps suppressing, hidden from everybody so he can make as much money as possible. He's going in on maybe a 12 year old kid about Lord knows what while he's playing PUBG, and he held back literally no words. I think he used every possible bad word he could ever use while he was streaming. And he didn't seem to really care about his brand and image back then, so it was cool and it was fine and it was okay. Now let's move on to the next Ninja L. I know you all remember. Back when he played with Drake, who could forget? It was a big moment for Twitch, it was a big moment for gaming, all the great things, right? So you can't imagine he possibly made an L out of such an amazing situation. You're playing with Drake, the biggest rapper in the world. Who would think that you could possibly get him to play Fortnite on stream with you? That's an amazing accomplishment that only an idiot could find a way to ruin. It was a spectacular event. They gave us this quote, if you do not remember. I never thought I would say this, but Drake, I have a slurp for you. <laughs> oh, man. Are you a bush, Drake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun time. What a great thing. Everybody's having fun. Nobody's worried about nonsense except Ninja. Ninja's always worried about nonsense. So, during that stream, Ninja was really pressed to break the streaming record for the most viewers at one time for a solo stream, and he broke it. He broke it just fine, and the way that he broke it was because of Drake. Drake uh, tweeted out the, and the reason he broke it was because Drake tweeted out the stream, and he put it on his IG, not mostly because he wanted to, but Ninja pretty much begged him. He begged and he begged, Drake, please, just put it on the IG and we can break so many viewer records. We can get so many views if you just post that on your IG that you're playing live with me right now on Twitch. And Drake did, and it all worked out fine until later, Ninja, for some dumbass reason, commented on the whole thing and gave his opinion on the night and what he thought of Drake after Drake boosted his views and helped him break a Twitch record. Ninja, are you buying Drake Scorpion Jaguar's new album? You can get your name stitched on the back. Also, pretty dope. Um, I, you know, is he gonna buy you know my next line of Ninja merch? You know, or my Ninja headband? Probably not. I feel like Drake saw that I was up and coming in the gaming scene, and he thought it would be a perfect way to just tap into another source of of viewers by playing with me. That's right, Ninja was upset that Drake wasn't a real fan of him. He thinks that Drake used him to get publicity. He thinks that Drake used him for his viewers. And he was disappointed that Drake wouldn't buy any of his merchandise and Drake wouldn't buy his silly little fucking headband or any of that goofy merchandise that he clearly makes for kids. He was disappointed that Drake wouldn't wear any of that and that's when he voiced his frustrations that Drake's not a real fan of me, he just wanted some attention even though Ninja, again, was the one begging for the attention, but that's irrelevant. What was relevant was the fact that Drake, not long after this, unfollowed Ninja on IG and pretty much never talked to his ass again because why would you talk to a clown who thinks that you are using him even though you are clearly far more famous than he ever will be? Why would you want to talk to somebody with that kind of ego? For him to have the nerve to say that Drake used him and he's mad that Drake used him and helped boost his career. You know how many people would love to be used by Drake? I'm pretty sure a lot of people watching would love to be used by Drake. Unfortunately, all of you are too old. You're not really in his age range if you get what I'm saying. If you don't get that joke, what I'm saying is, like Ninja's fan base, Drake likes them young. <laughs> On to the next L. This time is with another situation where Ninja talks about who he doesn't want to play with. This time it's not Myth. This time it's not Drake. This time it's all females ever. Uh, I don't play with girl streamers, man. Especially in the position that I'm I'm in right now, dude. Figure right now, the last thing I need is any of that garbage, dude, floating around. 
Now, personally, I don't think this is that big of a deal. I never thought it was that big of a deal. I thought it was like a really overblown thing by feminists where it was like, oh, he said he doesn't want to play with females. It's because he's sexist. When he clearly explained that he didn't want to play with females because he has a wife and he didn't want any problems or anything like that. So it made sense. He didn't say you were banned from his stream. He didn't say you couldn't come view him. He didn't say he wouldn't talk to you. Just didn't want to stream with you, which makes sense. And I didn't think this was an L, but I'm putting it in there because it was a big thing and some people are going to say it was an L. The main thing that I thought was hilarious was not too long after this, he came out with a Samsung ad that featured none other than a female and Ninja invited her to his team. Honey, Ninja is calling you up to the national team. I'm calling you up. I don't know what Samsung was thinking. I don't know if they didn't keep up with the news. I have a whole Samsung phone, so I support you. But that was incredibly dumb because you had to know that that was going to be problematic and that that was just going to trigger females all over again months after that had died down. All right, so now we're getting close to the back half of the year for Ninja. These are the more memorable, more recent, more entertaining L's that he took. This one is pretty much a summary and like a compilation of things. It's not like one individual moment. It's the fact that Ninja is a huge fucking crybaby. All he does is cry. You would think someone as blessed and as privileged as he is to be in the spot that he's in wouldn't cry and whine so, so much, but he does. And he still, and he does it daily. And he's gonna to continue to do it until he can't do it anymore. Hey mods, from now on, we full blown ban anyone that says that Fortnite is dead. Nothing irritates me more than seeing you cry as the biggest stream on Twitch. Why you have so many complaints about everything? You cry because Fortnite, well, Epic tweeted out some other Fortnite streamer's stream that wasn't yours as you sat at the number one spot on Fortnite, as usual. You were upset that you didn't get even more viewers as the number one streamer at the time, and you threw a fit about it on stream. Hey man, they just tweeted out someone else's stream that isn't me. Look, dude, I'm not mad. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad. I'm not, I'm not angry. All right? I would be streaming their game since pretty much it came out, you know what I mean? Advertising about, you know, a billion people. What do we, what do we mean by a billion? Is it had over a billion, 500 million channel views on my channel since I started doing, you know, Fortnite content. You know. Yeah, yeah. I don't deserve anything. Poor, poor Ninja. We all feel so sorry for you for not getting tweeted out by Fortnite and getting another 10,000 viewers or whatever the hell you were aiming to gain. You also cried when there was this whole Ligma thing. If you don't know what Ligma is, it was a joke specifically aimed at Ninja that went something like this. You were that was in my home. Changed my state of mind. Ladies and gentlemen, so hard to find. we got him. <laughs> Now, most people, when they get got like that, they can take him, ah, good joke, you got me. I can't believe I fell for it. Fuck, got me, right? Not ninja, not this guy, not egotistical, insane, psychotic ninja. Yo, mods, uh, let's start banning all the, the Ligma stuff, please. Just like a, start with like a 24 hour ban and then just go straight to bans. You're insane. You're absolutely insane. Anybody who supports you and approves of you is insane. There was nothing harmful about people saying Ligma, Ligma ball. It's a joke. Good God, please get over yourself. It is a joke. Nobody was going to think less of you because you fell for that joke. I promise you. Nobody was going to think less of Ninja as a person because you got got. But people definitely were going to think less of you when they realized you were taking it to heart and banning people because you got got. Grow up. Just like no one is going to think less of you if you lose games of Fortnite. You stream for like 12 hours a day. Nobody is going to be surprised when you lose games event. You can't win all the games, Ninja. It's not how it works, especially not Fortnite with 100 people and a game based heavily off random number gen. It's not going to be possible for you to win every game. So it amazes me every time you cry and pout when you lose on stream and you start to blame people and make excuses and accuse people of all kinds of things, which is what got you in trouble the last time when you spazzed out at a kid for killing you in the game of Fortnite and tried to get him banned because you thought and assumed that he was stream sniping you. Not that he was better than you in that moment. Not that he outplayed you for a split second. Nope, he was cheating. He's watching your stream. He knew everything you were doing. That's the only reason he killed you. Oh. <laughs> Laser! <laughs> <laughs>
Watch for the emote. Watch for the emote. Watch for the emote. 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 Wow, look how shitty the way. building. Oh, there's oh, the emote. There, 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 there it is. There it is, dude. The poor player. Stream sniping. You gotta love proof. You know what I mean? You gotta always love when there's proof. You literally. Bum, bum, what an idiot. Out. How stupid can you be? I'm, I'm, I'm going out of my way to make sure this guy's banned. I see five. All right. I see five. If you leave this game right now, I will not report you. And then you gave him some half ass trash apology where you say, well, he didn't really get banned. And if he did, oh, well, he's really milking it by complaining that you got his account banned that he probably spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on. If you get someone's account banned, you can't just go, oh, what was me? Sorry, it ain't happened. You can't just brush that off and then tell him to stop milking it for attention. For one, if I was my would milk it like a cow too and got every single viewer I could out of it because you were being a man child as usual. I would have kept trying to trick you and kept trying to get your emotions until you gave me enough viewers to make just one. 1% of the money that you were making from streaming Fortnite that you absolutely did not deserve. I have a question. Do you guys want to see a hypocrite? Here he is. Quit horsing around! Play me some of that jumping music. Here's a clip of Ninja giving his opinion on streamers self-promoting in other streamers' streams. Whether or not you guys are, are incredible or not, this is not how you don't just Did you want to float this and in ask. fly in or did you just want to run? I'm not even ask. Basically tell me to play your shit. It's disrespectful. I was wondering why you don't let people self-advertise. Why would I let other people use me for success? That's a pretty good point. You shouldn't just go into other people's streams and promote yourself. You know where I'm going with this. You shouldn't just go into other people's streams and promote yourself, right? That's not proper streamer etiquette. It's pretty rude to tell other people to come check you out during somebody else's stream, no? So, when Ninja teamed up with Twitch, the actual site Twitch, the, not some other side brand, not some up, nope, the exact site that everybody else was using as a platform, why was it a good idea, why was it okay to self-promote since it was his stream that was being promoted on everybody else's stream for New Year's? Without their permission at that, nobody, there was no approval, no question, nothing. They just put Ninja during other people's streams saying, hey, Forget what this stream is talking about. Come watch Ninja on New Year's Day. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be lit. It's going to be Fortnite dances and all the great sh can't cuss. It's going to be an amazing event is what I'm getting at. And and you would think that Ninja, the person who just said he hates self-promotion in other people's streams, would be against this, but he defended. And he said the only reason people were mad was because it was him. Not because he was taking viewers away, but because it was him. People just love to hate Ninja, not because he's egotistical, not because he's a crybaby, not because he's a hypocrite, not because of any of those things, but solely because he's him and he's popular. I'm not sure who's enabling you to be this delusional and who's not checking you on the fact that you're insane, but somebody should definitely say something to you soon. I don't know who, it's definitely not gonna be Drake, he doesn't talk to you anymore. It's not gonna be Myth, he probably doesn't talk to you anymore. It's not gonna be Lupus and Tim or whoever you're streaming with lately because they're yes men, but somebody needs to say something to you and you shouldn't cry about it this time. You should be able to take it in stride, especially when you consider that that event that Twitch advertised, that New Year's event, was an absolute flop. It was terrible. It got the views. I heard that you broke some other streaming record since the platform itself gave you that record, damn it. They pretty much just said, hey, here go a whole bunch of views. We're gonna make sure everybody watches. Here's a record, Ninja. It still was a flop. It was quite depressing, actually, to watch you go up there in front of hundreds of people and try to get them to dance, and they all looked at you like they could never give two. Bang, bang. going and going like the energizer yeah i'm supplying the wood like elijah these are gonna smoke in the indica money go Woo! one two three damn it's it dude it's a quad dab it amazes me that you act the way you act and you behave the way you behave and you don't realize why your sub counts going down. you don't realize why your views are going down you're completely baffled and confused at the fact that people don't like you as much as they used to it should be pretty self-explanatory but of course you're not going to understand it because you don't want to understand it you believe that you are great you believe that you are perfect you believe that you are always in the right you're the good guy everybody else is the villain that's not the true story and you don't realize it but you will realize it this year i promise you my prediction is by the end of this year fortnite won't be as popular and if Fortnite isn't as popular, I know you like to believe that you made Fortnite. I know you like to believe that without you, Fortnite wouldn't have been as popular as it is, which is the most lunatic thing I've ever heard. 
But once the popularity of Fortnite goes down like it is currently doing, you will lose a lot more viewers. Like when you stream Final Fantasy, what did you have? 8,000 viewers when you were streaming Final Fantasy? As opposed to just 60,000. 8,000 is still great. Don't confuse it. But it's not the same as when you were getting 60,000, 100,000, 150,000, 300,000. It's a big difference when you actually switch games and yet you still think you made Fortnite, but you can't seem to make any other game fun and popular. All I can say is enjoy it while it lasts. I, I don't wish for your downfall. I hope that you somehow do even greater than you did the year before or whenever you started blowing up. But realistically, I do not see it. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. We'll see, we'll revisit towards the end of this year or whenever things get weird for you again and you get into more trouble. We'll revisit and just see who is right and who is wrong in this situation. But for now, Ninja, this is the part of the video where I tell you that you get the L and I wrap it up. So here we go. Ninja, you get the L of the day, not because of anything you did recently. This is a whole year's worth. I think it was maybe like seven different L's, to be honest with you. And they were all for different reasons, whether that be because all you do is cry. Maybe it's because all you do is lie. Maybe it's because when you lose, you never believe it's because you suck. Maybe it's because you're losing viewers because all your fans have started to grow up. Maybe it's because you're one of the world's biggest hypocrites, or maybe it's because you're just not so epic. You have a lot of different reasons that this could be an L for you, and you have time out, time out. Your name is Ninja. That bothers me because you are the exact opposite of a ninja. I don't know how you got that name. You're loud, you're obnoxious, nothing about you is sneaky. You don't even wear like a full mask. You just pull on a headband. That's the only thing about you that's even remotely ninja-like. Even your hair is loud. Like everything about you screams, look at me, I want attention. Nothing about you screams, I'm sneaky, you will never see me coming. Pick a new name. Please pick a new name. Because if putting on the headband made you a ninja, then LeBron's been a ninja his whole career. And as far as your young fan base goes, if I offended any of you, if you are angry and you're ready to type, you're ready to tell your mom, you're in your stream talking about, yeah, I cape for you, ninja, and you're my hero. I get it. I get it. Get, get it off your chest. And wait till you hit puberty, come back and watch it again. You'll be like, oh, King was right. Who knew? I get it. I know how it goes. You're young, you make mistakes. But don't worry, I got you. I picked a song specifically for you to end this video that will calm you down a little bit. So don't type just yet if you're angry. Just wait until that song plays. It'll change your whole mood and you'll just be happy as can be again. But for everyone else who is not a kid, if you agree with this L, be sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know how you feel about everything down in the comments below. And of course, if you're new, subscribe to join me and the famous few on our path to greatness. Oh, follow my Twitter at the L of the day. Until next time, this has been the famous King Miles King. I have nothing left to say. So with all of that being said, this has been your L of the day. You guys want to hear sicko mode or mo bamba? Sicko mode or mo bamba? Uh... Why not both? I got hoes for calling a young nigga fuck. That was pretty lit, man. It's about as lit as it can get. <laughs> I've been going and going like the energizer. Yeah, I'm supplying the wood like Elijah. In the cut, smoking no indica. Might fuck around and compartment Elijah. <laughs> when they them kids is listening, gonna grow up. And get too old for that shit that made you blow up. Now your soul's looking light cause they don't show up.